Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Vicky, and this is my natural hair. Well, not all of it, but I'm going to be using this U part wig by Big Chop Hair, and this is their blown straight U part wig in 18 inches. I'm going to be using this to do a half up, half down style. It's kind of 90s reminiscent, you know. I kind of got this style and spo from It's My Ray Ray and Monica Style Muse. They wear this U part wig all the time, and I didn't even realize that it was a U part. So I was like, um, I need one ASAP because I need a quick solution. I've been needing to wear my edges out and that's why I haven't been wearing um, a lot of frontal wigs the past month or so. So this is my solution. I'm basically just gonna part my hair in a U kind of shape. You'll see why I parted it like this once I put the wig on, but I have my hair out in the back in a little bitty ponytail and they ain't really doing nothing special, y'all. It's just chilling back there, okay? It's natural in there. And then my hair in the front is natural. I had been brushing it so much that it's pretty much blown out at this point. I would suggest that you actually blow out your hair but it's totally up to you. So I'm gonna go wet my hair first to kind of let it help it to slick down. I'm gonna add gel and edge control so it'll hold it, but I wanted to wet it just to get it a little bit damp because you don't wanna do this on dry hair because then it'll be frizzy. So I'm using the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Perfect Edges and the Eco Styler. I know about Eco Styler, y'all, but listen, we just gonna pray over the Eco Styler. We just gonna keep using it because it works, all right? And I'm putting a generous amount of that on my hair um, just to get it slicked down. I'm gonna be doing a lot of slicking in this video okay so my hair is just gonna be slicked back at the top and then the U part will be cascading down in the back so um, I'm just kind of concentrating on the front part of my hair at this particular moment and I'm using the gel and the edge control just to kind of help slick and give me a nice smooth finish to the front of my hair so that it at least looks a bit decent you know what I mean I don't want it to be too frizzy or anything like that even though the hair is frizzy itself I still want the the front to be tame. So unclipping the clips, I'm going to slide those clips in. Now the clips are like sideways, so that's why I have a little bit of a part on the sides as well as the U shape at the crown of my head. So I'm sliding in those clips and clamping them down. And as you can see, the shape of the wig itself is why I parted it that way. I can't really explain how I parted it. It looks like, like a like a I don't even know what symbol that is, but I, I can't even describe it. I Listen, that's just how it looks, okay? So we're sliding it in, and I'm also going to slide the clip in the back. And I adjusted the straps, but I tied the straps together, the adjustable straps, because the wig was a little bit too big for me. Once I have it kind of shifted backwards on my head to kind of give my front some some leave out, you know? Um, so, as I'm brushing up my hair into a ponytail, if your hair is long enough, you could just brush up your own hair and then just have it in a ponytail on top of the wig. I don't have a lot of hair right now. <laughs> um, so, I'm going to take some of the hair from the U part and pull it upwards into the ponytail that I'm making with my hair in the front, if that makes sense. So, I'm just like pulling some hair out of the wig and pulling it to the front, and I'm going to put all of that together to make a ponytail. with my brush, and this little baby brush is from the Beauty Supply Store, by the way. Uh, it's just like a hard bore bristle or whatever it's called. And I'm just brushing all of that back, and then I'm going to pull my ponytail holder over and do my little ponytail situation. And we're just, sorry, I'm horrible at explaining things. I'm just <laughs> pulling, it, pulling it up into a ponytail. And then obviously you can see that the ponytail is not as tight as it could be. I don't want to add too much tension. So I'm just going to use bobby pins to fix whatever bumps and lumps may be there after putting it in the ponytail. Now as you can see my puffy hair right here is not bone out and it's not cute. It just doesn't match the rest of the hair. So I'm going to take some hair from the ponytail like you would wrap it around you know to give that wrap around look and I'm going to twist it with my hair and wrap it around. Since my hair is shorter it's not going to wrap all the way around so I'm just pulling it to the back and then I'm going to bobby pin it down to the rest of the wig so that at least the long pieces can cover my hair and it'll still blend with the back of the hair. This won't really be seen anyway because the hair is long enough, the ponytail is long enough itself to cover the back and the sides. So if we're super bobby pinned and all of that, you really can't tell. Now I'm going to go in and do my edges. I'm just gonna take some of that edge control and we are gonna swoop and swivel and curve and make our little edges masterpiece, okay? We, we like to have the edges looking real laid and smooth and swirly and curly and stuff. So I'm just gonna continue to slick up my own hair and then I'm going to 
brush down my edges with my toothbrush. And this is just a travel toothbrush. I use it all the time to brush my edges. Um, you can use whatever device you like, but this is what I prefer. Ide ideally, I would not do this when I have makeup on because I hate getting makeup in my edges. So I'm tying my hair down to make sure that my edges and all the little short pieces and all of that is slicked down and dry. So I let this sit as long as I possibly can, however much time I have to get ready. Like I said, I usually do this when I'm doing my makeup so that by the time I'm done with my makeup, my hair should be slicked down before I leave. So I'm gonna let that sit. I let it sit for about an hour, I believe, is how long I let it sit. So um, I'm coming back and I'm just pulling that off. As you can see, there are some lumps and bumps still. So I'm going to continue to add bobby pins. Bobby pin as much as you need, sis. Don't let anybody shame you for how many bobby pins you have to use to get your hair to lay down properly. We all understand the struggle, okay? I used about eight for this video. And then after you've done bobby pinning and stuff, you can go ahead and let your ponytail cascade and waterfall over the top. I'm gonna brush it out. Now you can curl the hair and style it however you want. I usually would curl it, but today I wanted to go for a little more natural approach. So I just left it like this. But you're more than welcome to blow dry it and crimp it and straighten it or whatever you wanna do to the hair. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's all for this tutorial. I hope that it was helpful. I hope that you guys learned something. All the information you need as, as far as the hair goes will be in the description box. And that's it. I will talk to you guys in my next hair video, okay? See you then.